Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Liza's BLTs. Body Love Talks is what we're talking about. We talk about everything from emotional eating, confidence, boundaries, self-care, self-love, self-esteem, all those things in between. And today I'm going to talk about, we're doing part four of our change your patterns. First of all, who am I? I'm Liza Lomax with Love Your Body Coaching. I'm a transformational mind, body, and food coach. So I get to help women drop weight without dieting, without exercising, and transform their relationship with their body. Ah, that's wonderful. Yay. Today, we're going to talk about changing your patterns. And if you haven't seen the last uh, three videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button um, to uh, get those new videos when they come out and then subscribe so that you can go and look at my other videos or just go and look at my other videos on, on all the subjects that I, uh, I talk about. So anyways, so today is about changing your patterns. So this is part four. So Strategy number four, eating the right foods during the day. So the cravings can happen actually any time of the day. Nighttime cravings and overeating are very, very common. Um, I don't necessarily like to tell people exactly what to, what and when and how to eat and how many meals they should eat. It's okay whether you're eating a couple meals, whether you're eating you know, several during the day, or if most, if you have most of your food and either early or in the day or later in the day, it doesn't matter as long as it's working for you, as long as it's working, it's, it's all fair game. So I don't like to, um, tell people like how to, how to do those things. Cause Hey, however you want to eat is how you want to eat. Okay. But over the years I have discovered clients who overeat at night and are often restricting their intake throughout the day, unknowingly and knowingly. So for an example, they might be skipping breakfast and having a salad with a little bit or a little or no protein for lunch. By dinner, they could be making solid choices, rich in fiber, proteins, healthy fats, but... <laughs> Their appetites are already on overdrive, already on overload. So it's no wonder they feel like snacking before bedtime. What you eat during the day actually matters. Not so much what you eat on any given day, but what you eat most days, okay? So fiber, especially from low calorie vegetables, helps you fill up. Protein keeps you full, fuller, longer between meals. This makes eating a combination of these nutrients in a sensible, in sensible portions at regular intervals key, 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 key for regulating appetite. So through years of experience, I've found that even small adjustments to eating habits, such as adding a daily breakfast with a healthy dose of protein and vegetables, along with a reasonable amount of carbs and healthy fats can actually curb that after dinner eat overeating. And the message here is simple. If you are, have a voracious nighttime appetite, look at what you're eating for the rest of the day. You may find you do better, a better job of nourishing your body at other meals. You won't hear that little voice, feed me, right when you're about to brush your teeth. So that's it today for Liza's BLTs. Tune in next time for Change Your Habits Part 5. And be sure again to hit the subscribe button below for each new video. And check out some of my other videos in the BLT series as well. So have a great day. Bye.